to another episode of Terra Time. We are just ripping through our brand new Nether Tunnels that we made in the last episode here. But uh, I I don't know if we're going to continue working on them right now because we've, you know, we've got, we've got a couple, well, we've got a big project to do over here, but I was kind of hit by a little bit of uh, inspiration and may have started a bit of a large scale project again that I've I've been putting off for a little while so let's bed back into the overworld and take a look with where we're gonna go so this is a another long overdue project that we need to get working on and that is finish the guardian farm so few things I kinda noticed about the guardian farm which is why I think I lost inspiration for it is I didn't really like where it went the last time we were building on it. So, if it decides to load, I have started a little bit of kind of a shape with what we can do on the top here that still gives us room for the storage. Um, I think what I didn't like about it before is the lighting never actually came up. So. What we're going to be doing is a little little bit of renovation work on the lower portion here. Just kind of bringing these sea lanterns up these corners. So we can incorporate them into the corners going up here. Um, and then that's as far as I've gotten. So a, in, a, a lot of this is going to be just kind of winging it. And hoping that we have enough materials in here. Um, we do have some prismarine all kind of lined up and ready to go. The dark prismarine is definitely something I need to... God, asleep. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The dark prismarine is definitely something we need to incorporate more into this build. Because right now it's... I really like this portion here, so we just need to get more of that up in here. Not sure yet how, but... I believe I can do it. Right? We can do this. We can do this. Right? Yes. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's kick it over into a time lapse. I'm going to try and at least get this kind of top portion shaped out a wee bit more here. And then we can maybe start doing a little bit of detailing. And oh, look, all these guardians are just coming in. So at least we'll... At least we have some renewable resources happening in on this project, so let's uh, let's get to work here. forgot that on the back side of this guardian farm these skeletons have been been here for a long time i don't even know but you know what i want them up on the top there so i've gone ahead and built an extremely rickety sketchy staircase up to the top but i i got it to work once where i put the lead on the guy and now if we just do this Nope, didn't work. The last guy did it, no problem. He just like flew up and over the glass. I think I went too too far too fast. Where'd that lead go? There it is. Alright, let's try this again. Get up here. Is he still he's still attached. So if I can get him up here. Oh, Oh no. Okay, we're not gonna try this again. We're we're we're. Mm. I'm so sorry. I. Mm. 
I'm going to have to keep those bones. Okay, hang on. I'm going to build another rickety, sketchy staircase. Hang on. Okay, the chanky staircase is now completed. We're going to try this with a saddle. Please. Okay, so... Okay, nice and... Uh-oh. What am I stuck on? Over? Okay. Nope. Take that out. Do we... Okay, we make it through. We don't make it through there. What are we stuck on? Are we stuck on that? Nope, we're stuck on this. Okay, we need to... Just make this go out a little bit more. Don't go back down. Don't go back down. Come here. Okay, trying this again. Why? why come on. You went. Oh, okay, there we go. You really don't like it when it's like that. Why? Okay, there. Okay. And right, we're going to scooch up here. They must have like one and a half wide hitboxes. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. And, okay. And, we're up. Okay, so we've got the first guy up here already. He was our test pilot. But, uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. So I got two up here, and I grabbed just a few things here. Um... Where are we going to put this? I think I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it here. So... The, the the fallen horse, we've named him Reaper. Um, that's not going to fit. Rip Reaper. You will be remembered. And... Uh, you know what? We're going to do this too. Um, no. Uh, what is it? Game rule... No. What is it? Trigger? It's trigger IF invisible. There we go. And trigger IF invisible. There we go. Alright. And we'll have to get our armor stand book later to make sure those are locked. But yeah. Okay. So, Rip Reaper, but we're going to go get the the last guy from downstairs, and then we're going to take down the janky staircase, and we'll get back to work here. And we have a problem. Eh, a little bit of a problem. Uh, mm. So, apparently they can fall from here, so before anybody else falls, let's um, secure them, shall we? Uh, that's going to become a uh, so we're just going to do this. Uh, scooch your butt. Scooch your butt. And lead. Come here. No, 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 no. Get, get your butt back over here. Over here. Mm. No. Okay, that's not going to work. Um... Okay, so these two were secured. We're just gonna get ourselves out of here and uh oh, where, 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 where did you go? Don't no say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. Where'd you go? Please don't tell me. He, oh no, where is he? Where is he? If there's bones down here, I'm going to be so sad. No. Oh, no. Another one. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I need an anvil and another item frame. Hang on. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly... We're just going to align Reaper to the left side here, and we've named the other horse uh, Plague. Don't ask me why. I was feeling a little bit of a Johnny Cash mood. Um, I er, trigger IF invisible, 
and sign uh, rip plague oops remembered sad face well hopefully hopefully we can keep these two guys alive but in order to do that I'm going to do some leads for now until I can figure out a more permanent solution to ensure that they don't walk off the edge and die. Because as cute as they are, they're, 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 see, you, you can see right through. There, there's no brains. The, the, the brains are gone. It's just, just a big old empty hole, unfortunately. Okay, um, that's enough distraction. I, as you can see, haven't done anything up here. I have just started down there, and even then haven't even gotten that far much, far much done English, my lanta, uh, done before I got distracted. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back at this. It is always a truly terrifying moment when you look down. There's not even color left. No color. It's like, oh... Oh, good Lanta. Oh, my. So I was just, you know, you know, killing time, flying around, and I flew under the water like you can do, coming up with a couple other plans for this place. And I ran into this. I forgot this was here. This is the original storage room slash kill chamber for the Guardian Farm. And I thought I took everything out of here. But I didn't. There's a, there, there's a decent amount of stuff. But then check this out. Oh, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. There is so many crystals in here. That's going to make so many sea lanterns. It's bad enough when you're defending yourself against a horde of angry zombies and creepers. And you accidentally hit your dog. And it dies. And you feel terrible. But then this happens. I don't think I've... Like, I... Mm, is, is there anything scarier in Minecraft than the angry dog head? Like, that is... terrifying. Yeesh. Alright, everybody. It's been... I want to say two days since the last clip. I... The time lapse, or the result of the time lapse, I didn't really like, unfortunately. I liked it at the time, but then, I, of course, you know, I logged in the next day and I had that moment of, what were you thinking? That was terrible. So I, I have played with the Guardian Farm quite a bit more. Um, the biggest thing that I didn't like was all the horizontal lines. So it ended up being a lot of renovating and going back and forth and playing with different ideas. Um, but I'm actually much happier with the result now. So, da, 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 it's not, you know, crazy. It's kind of janky, but it's it's unique. I, I don't think I've ever come across any type of guardian farm in this style. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I, I took a lot of the horizontal lines going through here. So all the horizontal lines of sea lanterns are now gone, which I honestly helped so much um of course you would it's now becoming night hang on okay it's now not night yay um but yeah no i i kind of added you know these more vertical lines with the dark prismarine there are still the horizontal lines going here but it's a lot more subtle so it doesn't it doesn't draw your eye as much. It's still kind of there for detail, and instead of this just being you know, all one type of prismarine top to bottom, kind of like this here. Oh, and the other thing I did down here, I took the bottom floor. There used to be a floor like right here, this height, and, and I just took it out. Um, I thought it was would be a little bit more interesting to have just kind of the glass wall, but then as soon as, of course, I did that, I don't like how this glass wall is square. Sigh. 
but I can't bring the water in, otherwise I'll have guardians spawning here, and that will ruin the farm. As you can see, there's still one in here. Uh, I, I am actually going to have to go inside there, which is scary, and do a little bit of renovating just to kind of up the production of the farm a little bit. It's just... I want you to be taller. There. Um... Yeah, just just a little bit of opportunity to make the farm a little bit better, but yeah. Um, I need to get my butt out of here. And of course, I get stuck. Eh. Oh, fine, we'll, we'll go this way. We'll just go under, because there's a ravine there, and I wasn't going all the way down, because you can't see it. Oh, the other thing I did is I ran around, and I did little drops of sea lanterns everywhere. Or not sea lanterns, good lord. Um, sea pickles, because they're a much more subtle light than a sea lantern. So it's it kind of illuminates the area and just kind of gives it a little bit of color. Color, light, thing. You know. Yeah, we'll just fly up here. Yeah, it just it kind of brings it alive a little bit more, just making it a little bit more visible, a little bit lighter, as I said. So I really like how this bottom part turned out. I um, I feel like I need to make this a circle, but that's just so much work, so much work, that I don't know if I want to do that. So we might just live with it being a square and calling this one done. So, oh, and I still have two horses. They, they haven't died. They're still here. I just don't know what to do with them, so they're going to stay there, and I can't get my hat home. Every time I try and bring him home, he just doesn't, so... This cat now lives here. But don't worry. We'll come back and say hi. So, but yeah. I'm really happy how this has turned out now. And yeah, I don't know where I'm going to be at with footage for this episode. Because, well, I haven't... Oh, that was a terrible view. I haven't actually edited, edited any of this together yet. So I, I think I'm going to have to go do that. See where we're at with the episode and see if we can... Maybe squeeze anything else in? Oh, I made the paths. I made paths. Just little paths. Just, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, now let me go figure out where I'm at and what else we can maybe do for this, this episode just for y'all's entertainment purposes. So, as it turns out, I got a whole lot more usable footage out of the build for the Guardian farm than I kind of thought I would, which was nice. There was a lot of weirdness and randomness, but, well, I'm a little random and weird too, so it's it's okay. It's just a reflection of me. So, that being said, there's only one other thing that we need, still need to do, and that is we got to update our list. Which is probably the most satisfying part of it all, because... You know, finishing something, especially something that's been unfinished in our world for so very long, is uh, is pretty nice. So I'm just going to quickly update my book here. If I can spell. There we go. Just a little record of everything that we've taken off the list is being kept in the book, just so we can you know go back and see it again later. So, but yeah. That being said, folks, that is going to wrap up this episode of Tarek Time. Thank you so very much for all coming along. I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed yourself, please feel free to drop down on below and give me a comment or a suggestion or maybe even a like or a sub. Uh, all of them would be greatly appreciated, and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you, everybody, for watching.